Lesson 10.4, Read Bar Graphs. A bar graph is a graph that uses rectangle bars to show data. The end of each bar lines up with a number on the scale to show how many. And there is a title on top and labels on the left side and the bottom. So here's a bar graph and we can see the title is favorite color. On this side is the number scale showing how many. We can see that the rectangle bar lines up with a number, like blue is eight, red is four. See how we read it going across this way? So that's the number scale. And here's the label for the number scale. It's the number of people. Here's the names label and the bar's names. This bar is blue, this one's red, this one's green, this one's yellow, and it's called colors, and we can read data that's on a bar graph. The bars on a bar graph can start here and go from the left side to the right side. And here the number scale is down here. And the bars in a bar graph can go up from the bottom, starting here at zero and then going upward. This does not change the data. They're just going in a different direction. Here's a bar graph. We see the title is Favorite Ice Cream. We see our scale name is the number of people. And this bar is for strawberry. This one's for mint. This one's for chocolate. This one's for lemon. This one's for vanilla. And down here it says flavors. So these are all the flavors. So how many people chose lemon as their favorite flavor? We look at lemon, we go up, and we see it stops here. It's at five, and that's the number of people. That means five people chose lemon. And how many more people chose chocolate than mint? We look at chocolate, we follow it up to the top of the bar. We see that's at seven. We look at mint, we follow it up to the top of the bar and see that's at four. We need to find the difference between seven and four, and we can see on the bar graph, there's a difference of three. And we could use subtraction. Since chocolate is seven and mint is four, we could do seven minus four, and that would equal the difference of three. This question says, how many people answered the survey question? Well, the only way to know how many people answered the survey question is to add up all of the totals. We have six for strawberry, four for mint, seven for chocolate, five for lemon, and we have four for vanilla. So we have six plus four plus seven plus five plus four. Six plus four is 10, and seven plus five is 12. Now we have a 10 plus 12. Well, 10 plus 12 is 22, and we have this 4, 22 plus 4 is 26. That means 26 people answered the question for the survey. To find how many people answered the survey question of what's your favorite ice cream, we added up all the totals for each bar. So, to read a bar graph, we see which number of the scale matches the end of the bar. This says favorite color. This is the number of people in our scale. And we see the color choices were yellow, red, or green. And we follow yellow up to here and we see yellow is four. We follow red up to here and see red is five and green is three. So how many people did not choose green? We think we can add the numbers that are not green. The numbers that are not green are for yellow and red. If we add the number of yellow and the number of red, we have four plus five. And four plus five is equal to nine. We're looking for the number that were not green, so we added how many were yellow and how many were red together. Now this says use the bar graph to answer the questions. So let's look at this bar graph first. It says the title is T-shirts sold. Here's our scale with our numbers and it's the number of T-shirts that were sold. 
And we can see our choices are blue, red, white, green, and purple. These are the colors. The question is, which two color t-shirts had the same amount sold? We look for two colors that have the same bar graph height. And we look, blue and purple are both at six. So the answer is blue and purple. Now this one here says, Bob bought a color that sold more than white, but less than blue. What color t-shirt did Bob buy? So we look at which ones sold more than white. Well, the only one that didn't sell more than white was green. So it could be any one of these, but it says less than blue. And if you look, blue and purple are the same, so it would have to be also less than purple. So the only one that sold more than white and less than blue would be red. Bob must have bought a red t-shirt. We needed to find a number that was more than three and less than six. The only one that fit that would be red at five. This one says, use the bar graph to answer the questions. Let's look at the bar graph. It says how we get to school. And now the scale is down here. And it's saying this is the number of children. And their choices are car, walk, bus, or bike. So what is the total number of children that get to school by car or bus? Well, we look at car and we see car is two. We look at bus and bus is three. So we would add two plus three. Two plus three is equal to five. That means five children get to school by car or bus. This one says how many children get to school by car or bus than by walking or riding a bike. So now we're comparing car and bus, which is five, to walk and bike, and walk is two, bike is one, two plus one is three, when we add them together, that means we're comparing a five and a three. We can use subtraction, five minus three is two, that means two more children get to school by car or bus than by walking or riding a bike. And please be careful reading the graphs Make sure to match the number on the scale to the end of the correct bar. Our next lesson, 10.5, is going to be about making bar graphs of our own. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you have a really nice day. Bye.